Well, hello, hello, everybody. Hey, it's Linda Anderson here from Linda Lou Creates. Let me get my stuff a little bit better in screen. Sorry about that. Um, thanks for joining me tonight. Um, this is the final week for the designer series paper sale that's happening at Stampin' Up. So be sure and get your order in before the end of the month um, to get uh, select uh, paper packs 15% off. Tonight, though, I am going to feature the Let's Go Fishing DSP, and this time I'm actually going to then also feature, within that suite, the Gone Fishing Bundle. So, uh, my previous videos, sh I shared uh, the Designer Series paper and other stamp sets or bundles. This time I'm actually going to do it with the one that's in here. So, okay, so let's get started. I had so much fun with this one. It's nuts how much fun I had with it. So, all right, colors are gorgeous because you guessed it, there's blue. So let me show you first for this one, all three cards, the card bases are the same. My preference is the top fold. That means that it's 11 by four and a quarter, scored down the center at five and a half. You certainly can make these very same cards using the more traditional fold, which is eight and a half by five and a half. Um, either way, you're good, all right? So this is pecan pie um, that I use there. Let's see, on the inside, um, I we have a couple uh, gentlemen friends that are retiring, so I'm like, this is perfect. So I went ahead and made a couple retirement cards. So um, on the front of the card then. Uh, I'm going back to my sort of my first love. Um, I'm kind of a simple, somewhat simple stamper with layers. That hasn't changed, but now I'm going with the layering that there's just one eighth of an inch bigger mat for it. So that means here is my very vanilla four and an eighth by five and three eighths. So what I'm going to put on top of that are the two pieces of the DSP. This one measures the four inches by two. And then of course, this one is four by three and a quarter. All right, so let's go ahead and get this adhered down. So yeah, as you can see, it's the backside. So let's just go ahead, and get this adhered down. So this is the one that is four by three and a quarter. So let me turn this to the side. I'm just, I do better that way. Now, because my vanilla layer is just, like I said, an eighth of an inch bigger, the margins of your uh, layer underneath, very, very small. So uh, just keep that in mind whenever you're layering things up like this. So here we go now with the one that is two by four. And I'm just putting them up against each other. Okay, let's go ahead and put this down to the card base. That way, kind of get that out of the way. So, and again, I'm just gonna look at the card base layer underneath. And again, it is going to be very, very narrow. Really only like a 16th of an inch. Uh, around each side. So this has always been what I loved, this itty bitty bit of color popping through and um, I'm going back to it. So <laughs> more of the designer series paper. Uh, this piece is four and a quarter by one and a half. So I'm going to put this on a piece of uh, pecan pie that's again, an eighth of an inch bigger. So that means it's one and five eighths by four and three eighths. So if doing it in eighths, uh, you don't like doing it that way, that's fine. Then do your quarter of an inch or um, yeah, a quarter of an inch bigger. So you do you, that's always what I like to say. Do whatever you like to do. So this piece, I'm going to adhere to the left of my card front. Let's bring that back in. I feel like I just can't get in frame. I have my camera tilted the wrong way. 
a little bit too much in and I'm used to it being tilted that direction. So I always had to have my cards zoomed up to the top. So anyway, so I'm apologizing now for that. Here we have a piece of vanilla, two and three quarters by two and three quarters. I stamped the sentiment in Knight of Navy ink. So now I'm going to mount it on a two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. Yes, I purposefully put it on the right hand side because I have this um, inner braid ribbon that I'm going to put down on, on the left side. This is Misty Moonlight, the color, which works great with this DSP because that's one of the colors that's within there. So um, I just thought this is gorgeous ribbon. So went with that. Let's go ahead and get this put down now together. And then before I actually adhere it to the card, let's get that ribbon down. Now there's a lot of different ways to adhere ribbon down. Let me just see about putting just a little bit of glue. You can certainly, if you have tape runner, like seal or any of the ones that you prefer to use, go for it. I'm just gonna go ahead with this using the liquid glue and then wrap it around. Now what I can do too is put some, uh, I just have, happen to have some scotch tape here. I'm just gonna go ahead and, and put that down. I have it right here at my desk, so do, uh, do it the way you like doing it. Tape runner does work well with that one. Some of the ribbons that are a little bit more like a, a, an open weave, I don't like using tape runner on it or adhesive of any sort really. So, um, but this one is a, a little bit tighter of a, of a ribbon. So, all right, let's go ahead and get going on. Yep, putting my 52 dimensionals on here. I had to laugh. There was an, a, um, a virtual event yesterday for Stampin' Up! demonstrators. And the one demonstrator was, she said how she use, uh, orders dimensionals all the time. Uh, if she needed to like bump herself up to the next level for something or if she had like a couple dollars left in Stampin' Rewards, she adds the Stampin' Dimensionals and she even gave the item number, which made me chuckle. She has it memorized and um, I'm right there with her. <laughs> I have it memorized too. So um, yeah, they better not ever change the number of those Stampin' Dimensionals. <laughs> so all right, I wanted the paper to sing on this one, so I am done as far as that goes. All I want to do is add a few of these classic matte dots. Um, I find myself not always going for vanilla for my uh, neutral. For some reason, I'm, I'm uh, kind of prone to, to using white, so I thought it was perfect then for these matte dots to go ahead, and that way I can start using up the vanilla uh, color shaded uh, dots that are on there. So that was perfect. So here we go. Here is card number one. Let's move on. Card number two. Now, I hope everyone is sitting down for this. Um, Friday, I attended another Stampin' event with friends. Uh, we get together now to do Paper Pumpkin. And the <laughs> we do alternatives, and <laughs> um, the one uh, friend had uh, one that in which we had to fussy cut cut out uh, an item. And I'll be honest with you, I had a bit of a temper tantrum about that. <laughs> I hate to fussy cut. So, Lori, this is for you. I actually cut this fish out of the designer series paper. In my next card, there is, which I love that Stampin' Up! does this, 
one of the dyes will cut out, will die cut out the fish. Um, uh, my question is, why didn't, why don't you have dyes to for all of the fish? So anyway, I had to cut it out myself and um, yeah, not my favorite thing to do. So anyway, Pebbled Path is the card base. Inside, the Happy Retirement. I told you I had a couple that I needed cards for. And I just added on uh, the fish then in there too. So here I have again my vanilla layer, four and an eighth by five and three eighths. Um, just a heads up, the measurements, if you need them and want them, wait until I'm done with the video. I always uh, will get these cards then over on my blog, and it includes the measurements and all of the products that were used. So, all right. So, as far as the paper goes, we've got the two green pieces. This is it happens to be Mossy Meadow. It is, uh, they are four by one and a quarter both of them they're the same now this is more of like a wild wheat color here in the background uh, and that one is four by two and a half so I'm gonna go ahead and adhere these down I like to go from top and bottom and then adhere that one in the middle and that's kind of my preference to doing this pay attention though if it has a uh, pattern to it that's directional you just want to make sure that you're doing it going the right way. So, all right, so let me do this. I am going to turn this upside down, so I just have to remember that I am upside down so that whenever I put this down, I'm going in the right direction. So I like doing it this way, and then I can put this piece from the middle uh, right on in there so you're getting a peek too at the other side of these papers it is just gorgeous I love the colors great masculine cards it doesn't have to be fish themed cards because remember being double-sided one side is generally sort of the theme so in this case it's the fishing uh, theme but the other side not necessarily so keep that in mind. You can always use the side, one side or the other, or if you like it and want to use it for kind of the, um, the theme in which it's aiming for, then you can just mix and match both sides. So, all right. So here we go. Um, as a kid, I sometimes would go fishing with my dad but it's been a while since I have gone fishing. So I don't know the names of all of these different, you know, reels and rods and lures and bobbers and blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to just call them these things <laughs> so I don't get myself in trouble. So anyway, now for the sentiment. This is the, uh, is uh, again, very vanilla. So it's two and an eighth by three and five eighths. I am going to mount it on a, a panel of boho blue, which is now two and a quarter by three and three quarters. I stamped in the Pebbled Path ink, and I did on purpose do it down below because I wanted to then show off the fish then across the top. So let's go ahead and get this all put down, and then this card will soon be done. So quick cards that you can certainly use other papers for, other stamp sets, dies, any of the above. Do the colors, combos that you like or need. And um, yeah, so go ahead, borrow these ideas. All right, so let me get my dimensionals ready i'm going to just slide this over to the left and down that goes i have a couple dimensionals on the back of the fish as well and down he goes also all right let me find my here they are 
the matte dots here that I've got. Let's get a couple of those on. So. Just going with three. All right. There we go. I love the colors of this. The blue, I just thought it would be fun to pop a different color in there, but then it also helps that the fish has a little bit of blue in it. So it just really kind of helped to pop that too. So, all right, so card number two is complete. Here is card number three. And this one I kind of fussed and over and um, ended up liking how it turned out. And uh, so let's do it. Let's do this one. Mossy Meadow is the card base here. And I just had some strips of this plaid left over, decided to put that on the inside. So um, let's see now. I have my designer series paper, <clears throat> excuse me, three and three quarters by five, wild wheat, three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. Let me find my glue somewhere. Here we go. And I love this plaid. I really do. I think that's, I love that plaid. I think it's the color that gets me first and then the plaid itself. So, but I wanted to do this side with the flies. I believe these are called. So please correct me if I am way wrong. Like I said, it has been a very long time since I have been fishing. So, all right, let's go ahead and get this put down onto the card base. I always have to double check because I've been known to put it on upside down. Okay. Now, just to, to add a little pop of color and bring out some color, I have these two strips. They are three and a quarter by three quarters. So three and one quarter across, three quarters of an inch wide. So I'm going to go ahead and just adhere these down. So I have one kind of on the left side and then this happens to be um, Misty Moonlight. This is Pecan Pie. And this one I will adhere the edge of it over on the right. Using the stylish shape dies, I have the next to the largest cut out in Wild Wheat then the one that's uh, below that one out of the very vanilla. Adhered those two together. Uh, I'm gonna just go ahead, get these put down. Yes, I've got dimensionals and lots of them on the back. It is so funny when I watch a video and someone doesn't put a lot of dimensionals on the back, I am yelling at, in the video to them to put more dimensionals on. So, you know, like they can hear me. <laughs> So anyway, all right, I have this uh, lure, this thingy me bob. How's that for, for knowing what it is? Um, it is actually a, a two-step, let me bring the stamp set in to, for you. It is a two-step uh, process there. So stamp, and then this is what I did in the pecan pie. And then the insert is in misty moonlight all right and then i die cut it out so so that will be down the fish this is the one that i was able to use a die on it's going to go down and then i'm going to have my congratulations kind of slip right on in there so all right so let's go ahead and get these down so first the, I'm calling it a lure. You can let me know if that's right or wrong. Now let me get the fish down. Okay. 
And now let me just kind of slide my congratulations in here. I might need to trim it a little bit to see where it's gonna fit best. So there we go. I'm gonna just slide it right on in there. A little bit of uh, the glue. And then trying to get the under here. There we go. There we go. All right, wouldn't even know that I dropped it there. That dried clear and, and uh, yeah, I'm good there. So this one, I only put one. No, I did not. I put three um, of the dots, the embellishments on there. So let me go ahead. And I kind of put them up here on the paper where it might be difficult to see. And this one on this card was used to cover up a spot of ink that I got on that piece. So all is good. We're gonna make go with it and pretend like it was meant to be that way, so. All right, so card number three is complete. Let me bring all the rest in to show you. So I have this one. And I have this one. Let me make sure I get them into frame here. There we go. So, what do you think? I think I just might have to get another pack of this paper before the end of the month because it is really awesome. I just, like I said, I had so much fun uh, playing with it. So, all right. Hey guys, like I said, don't miss out on the sale. Uh, if you're a pattern paper lover like I am, you definitely want to take advantage of that. Uh, and otherwise, I sure hope you have a great rest of your week. Can you believe it's the last week of June already? Crazy. But I um, hope you have a great one, and I'm going to see you next week then. So, all right. Bye now.